Endurance, the ultimate reality show for kids in the 2000s. Now, we've talked about it before, but not like this. Missions were the challenges for Endurance. They controlled the power of the game. There were four types of missions. The right to stay game, where contestants would have to endure a tough test to stay in the game in order to compete for the grand prize. It was then followed by a partner selection mission, where the partners were decided for the teams of endurance. Then the endurance missions gave out 10 to 14 pieces of endurance that were needed to win the grand prize. While the temple mission gave the winners a chance to send teams to the temple of fate for a chance to be eliminated from the game. But let's get into the top 10. Number 10. It's a drag, Endurance High Sierras. All you have are the three logs and the small sled. Right, bring it up, bring it up. Keep going. And you gotta get all the way to the other end. Pull on me. It's a drag is an ultimate test of strength and a turning point of Endurance 5. The objective of the challenge was to drag a drum of 280 pounds of water across the clearing to the finish line. Now the teams were given three logs to maneuver the drum up and down the course, but the green team would go on to win the challenge after Seeley decided to take over the challenge and send blue and orange to Temple. That's it, green team, nice job. Number nine, Pipe Dreams, Endurance 3, Hawaii. Go! Hang on. Hold on, girl, hold on. The Right to Stay Challenge is always a rigorous battle of endurance for the players every season. However, this challenge in Season 3 has to be the roughest. In this challenge, the girls followed by the boys would have to hold on to a metal tube structure for as long as they could. But what would make this challenge so iconic is the boys' turn. The rain began to fall and Damien began to rock the structure as Monroe begins to scream. Concentrate, Brandon. Oh, oh. Don't let, oh, oh. Brandon went down. Brandon, Tommy, and Marshall are the three guys going home. The other six are staying. Number eight, Ring of Fire, Endurance 3, Hawaii. My fingers. Ring of Fire was the very first mission of the season for the brand new teams, and which sets the tone for the season. In this game, teams were tasked with holding up a large bar that extended into a ring. The challenge was to hold the ring up as long as possible in the center of the ring. If the ring hit any part of the structure, the ring would ignite and the team would be eliminated from the challenge. The purple team were the winners, surprising a lot of teams with their strength. We won. Purple team has won the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh I am numb. Number seven. On the ropes, endurance two. Everyone's going but the blue team. Blue team's gotta wait ten seconds. On the ropes was the third temple mission of the season as emotions were beginning to boil. The object of the game was that one partner was the eyes and would lead their blindfolded partner through an open area with rope in order to thread it through different stations down the course, leading to a single station at the very end of the course. The challenge was remembered for the physical altercations between the players as they pushed and shoved for particular spots in the challenge. Tied for the lead. Right there, Scooter. Whoever gets to the last one first is gonna win. Put it in, put it in. Scooter in the hole, come on. Go, go, Scooter. Nice, you got it. The winners were the brown team as they were able to outmaneuver the other competitors. You got it, you got it. That's it, brown team wins. Brown team wins the game. Come on over here, awesome job. Jenna, come on down here, Jenna. Number six. Sandbar Relay, Endurance Fiji. Jordan is maintaining the lead and increasing on it. 
go, Lauren. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But look out, here comes Green. Come on, Will. Keep it up, keep it up. This sandbar relay has got to be the most grueling challenge over the history of the show, and it pays for the winner. The unique mission was played for an advantage in the game that would give the winners an automatic 1-0 lead at the Temple of Fate. But this magic box mission required teams to run from one side of the sandbar to grab a peg and run back over to the other side to insert it into a peg board. The first team to make 60 trips would win. This challenge was notorious for changing the rules halfway through to grab more than one peg at a third of the way through the challenge as the players were struggling with heat and exhaustion. All right, you guys, listen, new rule. When you get to 20 pegs, you get to start grabbing two at a time. Okay, and run. Run, stick it in there fast, come on. The green team was victorious, and the advantage would take them to the end of the game. Number five, Tilt Endurance. Holy mackerel. Tilt is the original endurance challenge of the show. The boys were held up on a platform by their backs while they'd be honing on to the girls at 15 feet above the ocean. The last one standing would be the winners. The challenge was very difficult as the blue team were declared the winners and won the last two pieces up for grabs. Oh. Number 4. Dropout and turns to Hatchapi. Isaac, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. This is what we do for fun back at home. Don't make us laugh. I'm going to get first on the phone. No, you're not. Dropout was a true test of strength and endurance for the players. Each team were landing their feet on a platform and had to bend over an arch to a bar over the water. The object of the game? Hold on as long as you can. The challenge lasted for a very long time so the red team would go on to win. It would be the first of many wins for the red team as their run to the finals. And by the way, this challenge was voted by the fans as the number one favorite challenge in top 10 games, a special between seasons four and five. Wow! Whoa! Well, that's it, Chris, you're out. Erica, you won. Chris is out! Erica! Number three, I'm pulling for you, Endurance 3 Hawaii. Go, 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 go. Whoever gets all 12 pieces first is gonna win. Got it? Perhaps one of the coolest challenges in the history of the show, I'm pulling for you was a test of courage. One at a time, one player would pull themselves up a pulley while the other would rappel down. At the bottom, each player would grab a foam triangle resembling a pyramid piece and would have to place it at the top of the 25-foot structure on a ledge. First team that would collect 12 pieces, six each, would win the mission and guarantee that one team would not win the next day's temple mission. The gray team would come out victorious and prevent the yellow team from competing. Team over, that's it. Great team, nice job. Yeah! Nice work. Oh. Yeah, Great team. Excellent job. Number two, spin fly endurance the hatchapy. Oh, oh, purple got a piece. Nice job. Way to go. Speaking of cool challenges, this has to be another amazing challenge. In the final mission of season four, the final two teams were attached to a harness in a circle. One player would run across the wooden platform as fast as they could to grab a sandbag in order to throw it into a box in the middle of the course that had the remaining pyramid pieces that were up for grabs. The other partner was on the other side of the circle. One was running and then one was throwing. The challenge was neck and neck and the results were split as purple won four pieces and red won three. Red would still have the advantage going into that final temple though. But before I reveal number one, Let's take a look at some of the really close missions that I almost included but dropped out at the last minute.
number one. Out on a limb, Durant 3, Hawaii. Nearly 20 minutes these guys have been holding on. Reese, you're so strong, you could hold me forever. Reese and Chris, you got this, guys. Don't let go. Come on, Monroe. Come on, Monroe. Thanks, Nicole. When you think of an underdog story, it is this challenge. The object of the challenge was simple. The girls were hoisted up over the water with the boys holding them. The last one standing would win the competition. But what makes this challenge so iconic is the story of the yellow team. They were counted out, ready to be sent out. But Monroe surprises all the teams with an epic showdown with no signs of weakness. When the so-called strong players were all struggling, they won and they were able to split the jungle in half and create the super teams. So, did you agree with our rankings? If not, leave them down below in the comments. Trust me, it was hard to come up with the great rankings. And, if you have any more ideas for more endurance videos, also leave them down in the comment section below. But thanks for watching! If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Make sure to ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, this has been Reality TV History. See ya.